So Seiko on a roll. They have released a bunch of new watches this week, the Arnie, and of course that Seiko 5 Sports GMT. And we also get a dive watch. This is a lesser known dive watch from the Seiko Prospects collection. However, it is a really nice offering and I'm excited to show it to you guys because I am very glad that they've actually reissued this watch. Let's flip the camera and take a look. So as I mentioned in the intro, Seiko announced three new 6R powered dive watches inspired by their original 1968 diver, the 6105-8000. This was a successor to the original 62 Moss from 1965. So we're getting three different versions of this new dive watch. There is one that is a white dial version, that is the SPB31. 3J1, that gets a five link stainless steel bracelet, which looks really good. And I haven't seen Seiko do a bracelet like this in a little while, I really like it. There is the SPB315 J1, that is a black gilt dial, so a black dial, gilt indices and hands, and then of course you're getting gilt in that bezel as well. Really a beautiful watch. Five link stainless steel bracelet on this one as well. Third, there is a strap version. It's a black silicone strap. This one's coming on. That is the SPB317J1 black dial. Really a classic straightforward dive watch with a black dial and black bezel. The bezels on these are 120 click rotating bezels with aluminum inserts. So they're doing aluminum in these, not ceramic. Uh, sapphire crystals on these, all three of them getting sapphire crystals, which is great. 41 millimeter cases, 47 millimeters lug to lug, 12.3 millimeters thick. Now that 12.3 millimeters thick is a very important number because this is one of the thinnest dive watches to come out of Prospects in a very long time. Usually they are thicker in the 13 millimeter range and higher. 12.3 is actually very good for a Prospects diver. Very happy to see that. All of these are 200 meters of water resistance. So you're getting a screwing crown, screwing case back. Inside the case, you're getting the 6R35, which is the upgraded 6R movement that recently came out about two years ago or three years ago. 70 hours of power reserve, a great, reliable, and somewhat accurate movement. So uh, obviously trying to compete with the Powermatic 80 with 70 hours of power reserve, that is actually very good. Uh, 200 meter dive watches here, very straightforward design. You're getting a tonneau shaped case which looks really good in conjunction with that five link stainless steel bracelet. Crown at the four o'clock, very classic Seiko dive watch. Just in general, a very good looking watch. Tell me what you guys think down in the comments below. I'm really glad that they came out with a reissue of the 1968 Diver, that 610-8000. Just a good looking watch, very straightforward as I mentioned. Tell me what you guys think. Seiko are on a tear, they came out with the Seiko 5 sports gmt and they also came out with the new arnie now these watches uh, a lot of watches coming out of seiko and some of them are really cool tell me what you guys think down in the comments below i want to hear from you guys please also don't forget to like subscribe hit that bell icon it is super helpful to the channel and i very much appreciate it please follow me on instagram my instagram is watch chris blog all one word i have some links in the description those links are to amazon if you click those links and buy anything it helps support the channel it doesn't cost you anything extra however i very much appreciate it anyway thank you for logging on i'll catch you guys in the next video